good morning all so this is the second problem that is in this problem hexagonal prism of side surmounting a square pyramid okay so they have not given dimensions so we have to take assume the dimensions and construct it first i am constructing the orthographic that is top view of the hexagons remember it for the polygons such as the triangle pentagon hexagon you have to draw the orthographic top view okay for the isometric projection otherwise you can't able to construct okay after constructing the hexagon so draw the box for it okay construct the box because in the isometric projections we are using two methods right box method and the four arc by center method okay whatever the constructions we do so we are going to use the box method okay so measure the dimensions okay now measure the end point uh, from here to here the distance using distance between command okay okay here for our uh, easy to understand i'll give the naming for this box that is 1 2 3 4 okay in the same way i'm going to construct in the isometric also first i will draw one reference line okay now i'll length i'll give 51.96 angle 30 degree and the second length i'll give 60 angle is 150 third length again 51.96 okay 51.96 angle is 210 degree can then join Okay, go to text and write one, two, three, four. Okay, now we have to go to arc by center to cut the arcs. Say from one to two, we have the arc length of twenty-five point nine eight. Type the radius twenty-five point nine eight, and cut the arc. In the same way, we can do it in the four to three. That is, arc radius twenty-five point nine eight. and cut the arc okay now here from here 2 to 3 so the arc distance we have to take that is 15 okay 15 15 you have to cut from here also we have to give the radius of 15 enter cut the arc in the same way here also the for the opposite end of 1 to 4 the radius we should consider 15 okay radius of 15 and for total four arcs for the opposite ends okay now join with the thick line Select exactly the end points here. Okay, now we have to construct. Okay, here the height we consider sixty mm. Okay, because it is a hexagonal prism. I will draw a straight line. Give the length sixty. using uh, move command we can create number of the copies here now construct the top face so this completes the hexagonal prism now above it we have to place the square pyramid okay so here i'll draw outside first i'll draw the diagonals to find out the center of it so we got because we have to place it 
centrally bore it okay that's why okay can see in the question we have to construct a square pyramid so here the length I will consider 30 angle is again 30 again length 30 angle is 150 again length is 30 mm angle is 210 degree and then join go to thin line so draw the two diagonals to find out the center here go to move command create say so you select it select the center point and then place it you can see we have been placed it centrally exactly on the top face of it from the center of it i'll consider the axis length so axis length i'll consider 50 mm okay then join to slant edges so you can subscribe for the channel hit on the bell icon for the latest notifications and share to maximum students and then finally you can come uh, convert into ISO by typing 0 0.816 so. good morning all <coughs> so this is a question bank for engineering visualization subject by BTU okay now we move on to the model 3 that is isometric projection so in this the first problem so right circular cone it is resting on a cube okay they are not given any kind of dimensions so we have to assume it first i will draw a reference line and then i will consider for the cube the length will be 50 mm and angle first angle it is 30 degree again length is 50 angle is 150 again length is 50 mm and angle is 210 degree so then join so here for the cube i'll consider 50 mm length so take 50 so go to draw a straight line for 50 mm go to move command creates a copy of it So we need to create a copy before removing it so select the exact end point in order to copy it and place it with respect to the end points okay the same way you select the bottom face you select the bottom face go to move command creates a copy and then place it like this so we have completed the cube now above it uh, we have to place the cone here so the base of the cone it is a circle so circle when it is constructed in isometric it will be converted into the ellipse okay so the top face i'll go for by four arc by center method okay you know how to construct the ellipse by using four arc by center method so using arc by center point so construct the ellipse measure uh, take this length now by the intersection of this point you take this as a reference and cut the arc so the base of the cone is done now we have to draw the axis from the center point i'll give the axis length here 60 okay take the midpoint okay take the midpoint and give the axis length here 60 mm so from the corner point so tangentially you can draw two lines okay so that completes the problem i will show the angle between so angle between we have considered 30 degree okay so finally we have to convert into iso so before converting to ISO, I will show the dimension. This is for 50 and this is 60. You can see when we select and convert into ISO. So that's what the final step we have to do. 
in the isometric projection okay go to scale in that type 0 0.816 816 enter okay so that completes the problem